So it's time for another match day vlog. It's Wrexham versus Yeovil Town at the race course ground. Now three games left in the season. And Wrexham only need two wins to clinch the Vanarama National League title. Now this game means more than anything tonight. Not just for Wrexham, but for Yeovil Town as well. Because if Yeovil Town lose, they're relegated. Now it's, it's a crazy game to think about. Wrexham versus Yeovil. But not just in that scheme of things at all. Wrexham, the next three games they play, every team they face has got something to play for, which makes it more of a difficult task to see if Wrexham can clinch the Vanarama in National League this season. But I don't worry about that, and I think that it's no problem for Wrexham. I do think Wrexham are going to win tonight. So score prediction-wise, we're going to go for Wrexham 2, Yeovil Town 1. I feel like a 90th minute winner is inbound, and the fans are going to go mental. And that's no disrespect to Yeovil, because the fan base for Yeovil, you know, the boss fan base, you know, there's no trouble with them or anything like that. But I do feel like there's a 90th minute winner inbound tonight from yours truly, Paul Mullen. Now, the other goal I'm going to give, so I'm going to say the first goal scorer is going to be, let's give it to Andy Cannon. Andy Cannon first goal, Mullen, 90th minute winner. So Wrexham 2, Yeovil Town 1. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe and tap that bell for more notifications. And I shall see you guys at the race course ground, up the town. So today I'm here with Neil Roberts. Neil, welcome back on the channel, mate. Um, Thank you. First things first, Wrexham versus Yeovil Town. Big game for both sides in terms of, you know, Yeovil's survival and Wrexham's title charge. How do you feel, mate? Obviously nervous. I've been, uh, I think, for the last sort of three or four games, just that. So I think most Wrexham fans now are a little bit anxious. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm confident. You know, I believe in what Parky's doing with the team and I believe in the players. I think we've got a good enough team. Um, it's just a case, I think, tonight especially, is get off to a good start because the fans will get behind them and, and then hopefully we can we can kick on and, uh, you know, have a, have a positive result. 100%. Well, obviously, the thing with Callum McFad seeing is, obviously, I don't know what the decision is, if he's... You know, if it's been overturned or not, and obviously Jacob Mendy being absent as well. Yeah. How do you see, like, who do you go, see, like, going into that left wing back position tonight? From a, a personal point of view, I'd like to see Jordan uh, get an opportunity there. I think, I think he's got the ability. I think he's got the game intelligence to be able to do that role, and, and probably more than anything, he's got that sort of uh, fitness to get up and down, which is what you need in that wing back role. So, um, you know, if. If it does come to it, I'd love to see him. But whoever it is, mate, I'm, I'm kind of we just got to get behind them and and uh, back them right from the off. Perfect. And last thing as well, mate. Score predictions for tonight. I think we'll win three one. Perfect. Well, thanks so much for coming on, mate, and enjoy the game. Cheers, Jebo. So I'm back here with Scoot. Scoot, obviously, welcome back to the channel, mate. Wrexham Cheers, versus Yeovil Town. Big game for both sides. Obviously, Wrexham's title charge. Yeovil Town trying to battle off, you know, survival. In terms of you know staying up in the Van of Arm National League, how do you feel going into today's game, mate? I've got to be honest, I'm quite nervous. Um, shouldn't be. I mean, if you were to win the last remaining three games, they won't stay up. There's no way about it. So you know, we're playing against a pod, probably relegated team, but you never know. Um, I want to be five nil. Five nil. <laughs> five nil. Five nil. Who's getting the goals? Moles hat trick. Mull's hat trick, I'm going to go Palmer, and I'm going to win it me. So last question as well in regards to you know, the Wrexham side. So obviously Callum McFadden got sent off against Barnett. Obviously the decision is still imminent of whether he's, you know, it's been overturned or not. Jacob Mendy's still absent for a injury. Who do you see starting on that left wing back position today? Any opinions on Barnett possibly going over to the left and bringing Anthony Ford on the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah bring Ford in, that's what he'll do. Anything else to say though? <laughs> Anything else? Look at hell. If we win today and win Saturday, there's going to be some party. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Just, uh, just enjoying it, innit? Let's just, you know. I think it's going to be different this time. I just can't see us blowing it. I'm nervous, but I don't know why, because I think we're all decent. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming on, mate. Enjoy the No problem.
Reaction for the Yeovil Town nil. Hello, yeah, Nat. See you later. But no, reaction for the Yeovil Town nil. Genuinely think that Yeovil relegated. Well, it's one step closer to the title for reaction. Fucking come on. But yeah, honestly, if you enjoyed the vlog, make sure you like, subscribe, tap that bell for more notifications. Just see you guys on the next one of the town.